September 5th, 2023. How's it going, guys? I've got another video for you. And what are we going to talk about today? Kansas City, Independence, Missouri. We're going to talk about crime. We're going to talk about drugs. Just from going down the road this morning, I had to make a list. <laughs> Not good, guys. And uh, we're going to talk about several other things that's taken place over the Labor Day weekend. There was uh, several other shootings. A uh, 14-year-old got shot down there at the plaza. I just, I mean, can't, I just can't imagine. I mean, and I mean, the plaza used to be halfway safe, but I mean, this has got way out of hand. So, where do we begin? Well, I'm going to give you, I'm going to read my list off here, and then I'm going to show the, some of the photos and uh, from the dash cam too and stuff with what was taken. And let's get on going back to Labor Day weekend here. And I uh, have to cross over here at 40 Highway, Chrysler. Take Chrysler down to downtown if you want to go down to San Caligon. And uh, there's a donation box. And uh, I think it's a uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters is what it is. And uh, this was a couple days back. And people had donated a fairly good amount of stuff around there. But then there's other people that dump, you know, junk and stuff. Trash just trying to get rid of their stuff too. But, like I say, this was a couple days back. We we're getting ready to cross over 40 Highway. And there's a guy... It pulls up in a pickup truck. He's uh, 50 to 60 years old. Clean. Clean. And this, this wasn't like a, just a regular, like, you know, dumpster diver. But he's he's going through everything to see what he can pick out. What he can steal here. Not good, guys. So, today, this morning, when I was up by there, this thing had just been pretty much gone through. There looked like there was just trash over there now almost. There looked like somebody had some shutters that they had laid over there and a few other odds and ends and stuff. But that was about it. It had been picked through. So let's talk about donations for a second. You know, the, I used to donate lots of different things. I don't donate much anymore. Because a lot of stuff don't get to where it needs to be. Even the homeless. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard this story before. I work for a uh, chemical, a place called Citywide Chemical. And it was actually a janitorial supply place. And they owned many different other businesses. Guy that owned the place, um, he almost bought the Royals. He was a billionaire. But... Uh, the thing of this is, one of the gentlemen that worked for him, that worked on like floor machines, donated lots and lots of money, thousands upon thousands of dollars and clothes and different things. And uh, he, this one guy, he had donated, I think he donated that one time, he had donated, the, he had taken stuff up, and he probably had donated like $2,000 or better. Now this guy, he also owned homes, too. So anything that was left decent or anything, he would collect and also donate to the charities. Well, there was a gentleman that he knew. It was a homeless guy. It was out kind of on the streets and stuff. And he told him, he said, go down there and get you a coat down there. Because he said this was around wintertime. It was getting cold. And uh, he had donated a lot. And uh, the guy went down there, but he couldn't get anything. Because the system, some of the systems here don't work right. And, of course, the guy got mad because he went down there and he talked to him. He said, well, hey, I sent that guy down there. He said, I donate thousands upon thousands of dollars. And uh, so what's more discouraging to people that donate stuff and then it can't get to the people that actually need it. Now, I'm going to show another thing this morning, too, that took place, too. There was a gal that was crawling over here at the Executive Inn and Suites down there by the tool shed. And she had one sock. 
And she looked like maybe she had even uh, went in her pants. Oh, yeah, guys, we're going to show that. That's here in Independence, Missouri here in Kansas City. Also, I'm going to show this uh, vandalized car again, this Mustang up here that used to be up, like I say, it's up there, kind of over there by where that uh, new gun shop went in. It's across, you know, from Gordman's over here. And that handicapped vehicle was sitting out in the center again. Now, I'm going to sh show some ironic things on this too, because this is just, you know. But I can't imagine this vehicle that's got gang stuff all over, sitting here in Independence, Missouri, in a public parking lot, and it's parked back into by a trash bin. Now, and it's got a temp tag, it looks like, on the back of it. I noticed today, for the first time, it looks like it's got a temp tag on it. It's got flat tires on it. It's been vandalized. I mean, what if somebody's got, you know, somebody that got their Mustang stolen? I would think Independence would want to go and check that out. And then if it's on there like that, you know, I would think they'd want to recover it. You know, I don't get that either. I'm going to show that. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably... Oh, I was down there by also down by Waterfall Park and, you know, across over there where... I don't, I don't know who has that, that, like, where they do all the softball. Who uh, actually, what church group runs that, if that's the Catholics or if that's a Baptist or something else over there. But it amazes me... You know, they get over there, and they have their hooplas and stuff, but on the cross of way on the other side over there where sometimes they park their cars, there's a lot of stuff that goes on over there, too. Drug dealings and stuff. They, there, I've posted many years now of people from, uh, <laughs> in that parking lot area across from them as you go into Waterfall Park. They're off Lee Summit Road. There's always stuff going on there. They're back up in the woods, and... There was a van pulled back, way back up against the bushes. Now, I don't know. I mean, to me, that looks like something that you would, you know, if you're out there, you're looking around, you would just probably maybe check it out. You know, I don't get it. You know, a little bit of preventive maintenance here. You know, preventive maintenance can go a long way, especially when all this stuff's going on, guys. And, uh, let's see, I think, oh, up here on 40 Highway, we still got that big old, uh, electric truck sitting up there by, uh, what is it, Geonostics or whatever, up there by that, uh, uh, wall, but that, you know, it just makes me wonder, you know, I don't get it, it, it doesn't make sense, and then what are they doing, Who who's saving that, you know, I, I got a, one neighbor over here on the other side of me, and it was going to go to that Burning Man way back. And they bought an RV. The RV sat there for several years. The engine was messed up in it. It never moved. And then they finally had it removed. I mean, you know, some of these people get this stuff. And it's like they never do nothing with it. But then I get to think, who would want it? I mean, what would you be doing with an electric truck? An old, you know, like power light electric truck. And then it was gone for a long time, but now it's sitting back there again. <laughs> That's weird, guys. Anyway, let's get on with this. We're going to show this guy, a gal that was crawling around on the ground. She finally got up, and she had one sock on, and um, we'll show this car, and we'll show this donation box here. And, I mean, pretty much they just pretty much went through anything that was decent and just left the trash. So hold on. Okay, guys, and this is, uh, yeah, it's Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and that's all that's left. Now, there was, like I say, there was at least four times that there over the weekend before, before that, and people have just stolen stuff and taken everything out over there. Now, this is uh, over there by that dental place, like I say, it's, it sits off by another building. 
this building over here is a trouble area too because they sit back behind this building and deal drugs too. Now there's no, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes on, but this here, basically, and I was just thinking, you know, and what kills me, like these old guys, some of these old guys that pull up like this, you know, in fairly new pickup trucks. This isn't like a, oh, you know, somebody that's, you know, almost homeless. It's got a beat up old truck and they're taking stuff, trying to make a little bit of money. That hey, you know, nobody should be doing any of it. But these guys are driving nice vehicles or new vehicles and they're getting out and they're digging through all that. I guess that's how you get those brand new vehicles. You steal and do all that other stuff, huh, guys? Very sad here in Independence, Missouri, in Kansas City here. Now, hold on. Okay, guys, now I'm back up here at Gordman's. And here's that vehicle sitting out in the center of the deal again. But what I find erotic is I look up over here and it says, No lottering between 9 a.m. and... Or what was it say? Or 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. or whatever. And I get to think about all this stuff here. And I get to think, well, what's this doing? Now, he's not over. He's not over by the 18 wheelers. Not dropping somebody off or something. But then, what are they doing anyway? I mean, this is just weird. I don't know. That's crazy stuff, guys. So hold on. Okay, guys, we'll move on to the vandalized Mustang. It's still sitting there. Now, what did I, I think I was, was that two weeks ago when I talked about this or three? I mean, there's so many things, you know, that go on here. It's not even funny. Now, this is, like I say, they we're here in Kansas City. This is Independence, Missouri here. It's got that good American feel here, Florida, too. See, the American flags flying off in the distance. See, only in America, right, guys? But it's got a temp tag. It's got a temp tag on this right here. And it's got a flat tire. Well, it's just sure ain't being dirty. You couldn't even see drive to, down the road with that all over like that. This could be a hot Mustang. It should be checked out. And also, I mean, this is <laughs> what's even more crazy Okay, somebody parked this over by the dumpster area. So what, what's that do? So they can't they they can't get to it. I mean, th this is in a public parking lot, and if it is, you know, also it's got flat tires on it. So then it becomes it can be a hazard. I mean, in the sense, I mean, all different ways you want to look at it here, but I don't get it. So this is Independence, Missouri. I mean, if, if anything, who wants to come in to an area, into a, a part of a city, and see this? And it sure doesn't send out a good message to anybody coming in here about what's here. See, it's over here by that waste management dumpster. Hmm. So hold on, guys. Okay, now this is over here. We are in Kansas City, I will say, but this is Independence, Missouri. And this is at the Executive Inn. And as I'm going to get my pen here, you see this lady crawling across the asphalt over here on her hands and knees. And she finally gets up. And I'm going to show a couple other photos of that. Now, this was at around 7.30 a.m. this morning, about 7.20 to about 7.45 this morning, guys. Hold on. Now, here's one shot, and as you can see, she's got one sock, and uh, looks like she might have went in her pants there. Hold on. Okay, guys. And th this is that, this is what that good, uh, you know, uh, all the good drugs out here do to you. Very sad, guys. You know? Got your fentanyl, got your cocaine. 
all the other different drugs too. Meth. And this is that, this is a minivan kind of like, it's down by Waterfall Park as you enter Waterfall Park. And you can you see, guys, it was uh, backed up pretty close to that bush and stuff. A lot of stuff goes on down here. I've uh, photo photographed and video people that were trying to live down there. And just a little bit of everything. But hold on. Oh, and I thought I would get this into. This is up there by up here on 40 Highway. And up against this... Uh, <clears throat> Fence line is a big old electric truck. And there it is. That's just wild. I don't get that either. Doesn't make sense. I wonder who owns that piece of land. Used to be a Taco John's there. And the guy that owned it, he had it, supposedly, he had a AIDS and died. But, and that's why it got, pretty much, they took the building down and stuff. Nobody bought it or anything. That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that they, you'd be setting a commercial vehicle there. And for what purpose? I don't know. That just uh, looks weird to me, too. Well, guys, we're going to leave it here at that. And uh, hold on. This is Kansas City. This is Independence, Missouri. Keep your eyes open and stay safe out there, guys.